named Dar has been found guilty of complicity with the rebels to overthrow the holy power of Lord Arklon. The accused has also exhibited knowledge of witchcraft and his ability to control the beasts of the field. The sentence is death. So this is the Beastmaster. The one who defeated our high priest, Maox, and now challenges my authority. Did you actually believe that you and your flock of peasants could overthrow my kingdom? Did you? Now, where are these rebels? of Lord Arklon, I hereby condemn you to eternal damnation. Vultures feast upon his flesh.
Like it. Bring the witch. The leader wishes to speak with the witch. Move it. Witch, speak. Where is our clan's army? Arklan rests in the foothills of Analos. Some two days' journey from here. Take care, you speak the truth, witch. One act of betrayal and I'll cleave your black heart from your bosom. Surely such a valiant warrior such as you can think of a better use for my bosom. Away with her! <laughs> Arklan, but the flames of freedom will not be extinguished so easily. They'll be coming, more and more from all over the land. And we both know, Arklan, that the power of the key is not eternal. Hor. Who are you to address me by name? Who am I? Honey, I'm the best thing that's happened to you since you donned that great-looking mask. And 
why should I? Lord Arklon, maximum ruler of A-Rock, be any concern of yours. Chill out, Lord Dude. You know, you're a hard man to take a meeting with. That's why I arrange this little scene with the rebels here. What is this strange tongue in which you speak? It's all part of what I want to show you, my lord. For it is I, the beautiful, sensuous, mysterious Lorana, who can make you the most powerful man on Earth. My dear, I am the most powerful man on Earth. Not for long, unless you allow me to make your power eternal. You? You are but a witch. Oh, maybe. But a very uncommon one, my lead. Silence! Do you not wish to hear my secret? The one that will make you equal to the gods. The ultimate power awaits you, my lord. Then I shall let you live. Only until I witness such sorcery. But you hear me well. If you try to deceive me... I know. You shall cleave my black heart from my bosom, hmm? <laughs> Take her. So, you think he likes me?
my youth, I practiced the forbidden rituals and eventually evolved in, into this wretched creature that stands before you. Doorway to your ultimate triumph, my lord. A world that exists on a parallel plane with our own. And what do they call this place? The natives call it L.A. L.A. I have been studying their ways for some time now. Oh, what marvels they possess. Indeed. And one in particular should interest you. their military fortresses. Their men of science call it a neutron detonator. It's compact enough to carry, yet powerful enough to destroy all life in an area the size of a continent. With the threat of such a weapon, I could rule unopposed. Exactly. Exactly. Their political structure is based on such weapons. They refer to it as 
What a brilliantly barbarous concept. Why do you show me such things? These are nothing but illusions and pictures. Have a drawn and quarter. <laughs> fool! Fool! You laugh in the face of death? I laugh at any fool who would throw away the key to ultimate power. We are made for each other. The key of Magog and I. Together and only together can we come and go through the portal at will and make these pictures reality. The neutron detonator will be yours. You'll rule the world. With me at your side. Really? You, the mother of beauty, would be at my side? You, the queen of radiance, would grace my lonely existence? You, would cast your sparkling eyes upon this tattered face and shine your aura upon my throne. Oh, burn her! Ultron, <laughs> <laughs> you need me. The key will get you in, but only I can get you out. Ultron, read my lips. Only I can get you out. Let haste not be the ruler, lest we forget the purpose. Come. Let us discover more about this place you call... L.A. Unit Baker 5 0, high speed pursuit. Request assistance. Roger Baker 5 0, 86 responding. Can you give me a make on that vehicle? The Red Fort. Senator Trent's daughter. <laughs> the crazy one. Well, I was at this great party down in Ensenada. I don't know, five days, six days? It's really hard to remember. <laughs>
Oh, this is nice. This is very, very nice. Yeah, well, you write the report this time. I'm sick I'm and tired. I'm not doing the... <laughs> so, uh, where's the camera? <laughs> Yo, Darth Vader, uh, what is it, some kind of movie set? <laughs> okay, drop your weapon! Hey, 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 you're under arrest! You have the right to remain silent! You shall remain silent! Alive! I want them alive! Jesus, since when did the governor pardon mental patients? Extra! Uh. Unit 86 to headquarters. Officers under Ooh. fire. Immediate assistance requested. A 1020 uh. intersection at... Uh. Where the hell are we? Uh. Hey, wait. Hey. How the hell do I know? This is not my neighborhood! Marcellus, are we dreaming? If we were dreaming, we wouldn't have to explain to the captain what happened to our patrol cars. Oh. Get up! These guys don't give warning shots. Oh, come on! Oh. Ah. Excellent! Bring me the outsider! Yes, my lord! Alive! Yes, my lord! Now! Yes, my lord! What an incredible instrument of destruction this beast would make. I could roll over entire armies. It's called a car. A dar. A car. A car. Let's cross over to the other world now. I know of many other cars and other wonders of their world. Forget about the girl. Put yourselves in the hand of your future queen. So, my little dove, you wish to be my queen. <laughs> I certainly don't wish to be your maid. First, we interrogate the outsider. My witch. Smells worse than a dead iguana. Mm. PJ, <laughs> that's disgusting. you'd like to go play with? Mommy will get you a nice can of nine lives. Who is this PJ? There's no cause to be alarmed. Well, I don't know about you, but I'd rather eat breakfast than be breakfast. The beast is my friend. 
I see through his eyes, he sees through mine. Ah, ah, I know his thoughts, he knows mine. It sounds like you guys have a great, meaningful relationship, but <laughs> just make him go away. Rule. Over. <laughs> you feel better now? Not really. Hey, are you one of those crazed bikers, you know, with the crossbows? Do you have any idea where we are? The western region. Oh, well, that's enlightening. Do you mind being a little bit more specific? Look, is there a telephone around here maybe that I could use or, or a 7-Eleven even? Something like that? 7-Eleven? Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Your bag's full of rats. <laughs> no. These are my ferrets. This is Kodo and Podo. They still look like rats to me. Oh, I was a trip. Hey, I get it now. You're with the circus. We're on a quest. Sure. Right. Well, you know, hey, I'm on a quest, too. For gas. You see, my Porsche ran out of gas about ten miles back, and... You know, I know Daddy would pay a lot of money if you would just help me get back to L.A. Well, you're welcome to join us on our journey westward. Perhaps there you will find the land you seek. Well, all right. I mean, it's the best offer I've gotten all day. <laughs> hey, is that cat going to come with us? His name is Ru. We travel everywhere together. <sighs> this make it really difficult checking into a hotel. Wait a minute! Hey, wait up, Hercules! I'm coming! Hey, you know with the circus, maybe a zoo? Zoo? You know, where they keep all sorts of animals. The animals are free. This is their land. I'm their friend. Okay, okay, not again. It'll keep us alive. No, thanks. I'll just stick with the salad bar. Now, that vulture's been circling above us for about an hour. That's no vulture. That's my eagle. Magnificent bird. Jara! Boy and his bird. How touching. I send him to scout for me. He's my eyes. A seeing eye bird.
this isn't half bad when it's cooked. You really do all right for yourself. You live off the land. You get along great with animals. Totally self-sufficient. <laughs> Look, Dar, I have to ask. Were you raised by wolves or what? <laughs> so, Dar, tell me. What's with you and these animals? They're the only family I have. They sure do love you. What did you say their names were? This one's Kodo, and this one's Podo. Can I hold them? They're <laughs> squirmy. Wait, which one's Kodo and which one's Podo? Yes. I can't tell the difference. They're adorable. No, do not be deceived by appearances. They are both very shrewd thieves. Thieves? Mm, they have cunning to get me out of very rocky situations. <laughs> it looks like they love you, too. Friends. Those are the lost towns. That's bad, right? They stalk the night, searching for souls to drag down into the abyss. Sounds like a couple of guys I met in Tijuana last night. Wait, where are you going? To stand guard with Rue. Well, don't worry, Kodo and Bodo will stay with you. You'll be safe. I promise. You'll take care of me, won't you? that cat has that I don't. Strange, this newcomer, huh? What do you think?
encountered the Beastmaster. And you let him escape? Idiot! Two of my best men are fast upon his heels, my lord. Appealing little thing, in a plain sort of a way. He rots with his beast. Do you know where you are? The Twilight Zone. Where's Rod Serling? You are in a parallel world. Lord Arklan opened the dimensional portal, and you came through. in exchange for certain information. Information? Yes. Hell, I'm loaded with information, you know. I watch Jeopardy every night. I seek a weapon known as the Neutron Detonator. Neutron Detonator? Yes. Right. Well, once when we're back in Los Angeles, I'll just pick one up for you at Kmart. Beware of treachery, my lord. A uh, look. Daddy's really good friends with Admiral Benz. He's the chief of Pacific Operations, and, well, I'm sure he probably has a whole warehouse full of neutron detonators. Somewhere. Few people have been foolish enough to betray me, little one. Girl Scout's honor. We'll just hop back through that rabbit hole and grab a neutron detonator and... You'll be back by lunch. Promise. We go. The Beastmaster! No! I shall kill him with my own hand. No, come on! You can kill him anytime. Our time is limited. Arklon! Savage, Exeter. If you wish to live, he must die. Yes, my lord. I should have known. Till death do us part. Not now, Arthur! <laughs> <laughs> Ouch, you creep! You're breaking my arm! 
You killed your own brother. No, not yet. I merely detained him until a more propitious moment. Although I understand why he's such a hard man to kill. After all, he is from my own blood. Yeah, well, I bet your mom always liked him best. Ouch. You know, I've got friends in this town. You'll never get away with this. Oh, Lord Auckland could get away with anything. Now, oh, my sweet little child, if you value your health, you'll lead us to the neutron detonator now. Okay, now. okay. Now. Lighten up. Good. Ouch. <laughs> You gotta get yourself some fresh threads. See, apparently, the suspect set fire to some gas lines. Okay, okay. The guys down here took care of that, but uh -huh. this jerk will not come out of the alley. I mean, now, we've tried talking to the guy. He won't say a thing. What? Bring the white box down. What the hell is that doing here? Good question. There are many of them few of us. Now, we called in a biologist from the zoo. He has a tranquilizer dart. I take it he didn't bring one for Mr. Loincloth? No. That's why God invented taser guns. Come on, you know how I feel about tasers. Look, you try rushing him. Okay, go ahead. No fuss. Yeah, well, what are we going to do about Tabby back there? The zoo's keeping him. The sure he's not one of theirs, though. Okay. We'll find out everything you can about the weirdo. Have somebody run a query on all loincloth freaks. There can't be that many of them. Have the whole thing on my desk tomorrow morning. Uh, well, uh, Chief, <laughs> tomorrow's Sunday. You think this can wait till Monday, Bandowski? I hear you. I thought you would. And what can we do to you? Uh, my associates, they're looking for a more corporate look. <laughs> I should say. Cultural exchange oh, student. Of course. Marianne. Yes, Mr. Melwin? Would you help this lady? Auckland. Auckland, we must go now. Today, darling. Uh, look, uh, Justin from Paris. <laughs> it's the rage. <laughs> I... I think we've got a couple of minutes. So... <laughs> and, sir, if you will follow me... Ow! Where do you think you're going? I was gonna go try it on, too. Well, can I go look at the skirts? I mean, there's no. Can I go to the bathroom? Now, sir, here is something just read your name. Hmm? No. Uh, sir. Haven't you anything more befitting my station? Sir, I assure you, this is the finest virgin wool. Virgins? My dear boy, from where I come from, the only thing a virgin is good for is sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have sacrificed a few in my time, too. <laughs> if you were in my kingdom, I would slit you open and disembowel you. You know, you should really meet my stress management therapist. He's done wonders for me. Uh, sir. Uh, 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 now, uh, sir. 
Sir, if you will just try this on, I'm sure you'll be quite pleased. We have had three oil sheiks and one Ethiopian potentate purchase this exact suit. Uh, please, come, this way, if you will, please. Huh? This way. You will stay. The neutron detonator itself couldn't move me. If you will. The Phantom of the Opera look is quite chic. Where is she? To whom are you referring, sir? Where is she? Sir, if you are referring to a woman whom you were right with, I believe she stepped outside with quite a hurry. Now, shall I wrap this up or would you like to wear it home? Bah! I think I'm beginning to like this. L.A. Uh. destroyed by our clone. gone so long that we considered renting out your room. Oh, Wendell, it's a long story. Well, for your sake, I think that it's a bestseller. Your father mentioned something about disinheriting you. And then they leave it without even paying. Do you know, I, 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 so we come down here to investigate. <laughs> a, a, anyway, anyway th th this guy aims this um, laser thing at the front of the store, you know, how, how that can happen. And, and then, uh, before we know it, Everything's destroyed. What you're trying to tell me, Bandowski, is that there's some stranger running around with a laser beam blowing braziers off mannequins. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I can see your point. I, I hear you. Well, I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. Back to square one. What's your name? <sighs> 
You Tarzan, me Coberly. Get it? Your name? <sighs> what is with you people? Haven't you ever seen Tarzan before? Get back to work! Okay, let's continue. Find him. That's right. That's one bear do. He's evil. Uh-huh. Just sit down. Ah. Sit down. Ah. Sit. Well, your pal here busted up a clothing store. And the owner is pretty pissed. <laughs> Mr. Melwin, hey. the city cannot reimburse you. You know what I don't understand? How come a clean-cut jungle boy like you was hanging out with a creep like this? Okay. But your little friends are gonna stay here and you're gonna stay here until you tell me what I wanna know. Sergeant! Yeah, no, I, I, I know how traumatic a broken window can be. I, I, how do you know? How do I know? Sarge! No, 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 no. Get away. Trust me. I know. Yeah, 
mob. Whatever that is. <laughs> Just don't breathe too deeply, okay? Feed on your memories and know all that you know. You shall tell me how to get to your military base and what skills I need to survive in your world. And when you're finished, your mind shall be blank and all that you know shall cease to be. says you're not to move and, uh, until he returns tomorrow. Tomorrow? Wendell, I told you, it can't wait. Well, he can't be reached. He's in a meeting all day and there's no telephone. Oh, Wendell. I swear, Miss Jackie. <sighs> sure, Wendell. Was well, there anything to eat? We're totally fat. Oh. <laughs> For you, Miss Jackie, always. Dar, in here. Let's eat. Does it speak? Usually the animals. This is Dar. He's my friend. Not another surfer? No, I'd say he's more of an animal trainer. Oh, well, <laughs> your father will be overjoyed. Is this to eat or to look upon? Good question. Eat. Mm. What? Look, I haven't eaten anything but roots for the last few days, okay? Another of your exotic diets? <laughs> Is he housebroken? <laughs> Miss Jackie, I think this may be going too far. Don't worry, Wendell. This is Shirak, Kodo, and Poto. They won't hurt you. My God. He is an animal trainer. Your food, very colorful. Well, colorants and preservatives are our main source of nutrition. <laughs> Short in life, but mm, they taste good. Miss Jackie, this has gone far enough. Uh, I'm calling your father. Good, because Wendell, we really need to talk to him. Arklam, we must find him. Come on, Dar, let's watch the six o'clock news. Uh, it, it, it's, it's Senator Trent there. Uh, yes, I know he's in a, a meeting. But this is an emergency. Uh, tell him I will not be responsible. For what? For a, a, a pterodactyl and a, a bunch of rats loose in the house. Is there more control? What are these images? <laughs> these are pictures. See, that's one of Daddy and me. And this is Daddy and my mom. She's not with us any longer. She is way on a journey? No, she died a couple of years ago. You must miss her. 
I do. Come on, let's watch the news. What is this? This is television, Dar. This is the pictures of our world. Doctors say that former President Reagan will be able to dress himself again in no time. See, nobody admits that they watch it, but almost everybody has at least two of them. The Army Research Center is about to test a nuclear device known as the neutron detonator. With what are you doing Curry, here? Here's Troy Saunders. Before we go to Troy, Beverly, as a result of... I'm the singing. I study music. See, it's real important to me to convey emotion, you know, like laughs or tears. According to an article in the National Enquirer, this weapon is capable of destroying all life in a thousand mile radius. The government, however, has given no official word of its existence. Neutron detonator. This geek is really trying to get the bomb. Live from the Naval Research Center here at Long Beach, Troy. Can you find him? My pedal is already to the metal. And we can't go dressed like this. Daddy's got a lot in here that will fit you. Go, Bertie, please. Go away. Fly away home. Here, put this on. <laughs> Yeehaw! You look great. Let's get out of here. Wendell, tell Daddy that I'm going to stop World War III. Come on. Uh, don't forget your bird. Go, go. <laughs> ah. I'll be your liaison here on the base, Lieutenant Colonel. You again. At your service. <laughs> Somehow I expected to find you here, Lara. Great minds think alike. I suppose you know where the neutron detonator is located? Well, of course. I even have Sir. the security badges to get us inside. Badges? I don't need badges! I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot allow you inside. What do you care to explain that, Sergeant? Your papers are correct, but your badges only give you E2 clearance. This is an E1 security area. You want me to tell General Bins that we were refused entry because security made some error and gave us the wrong badges? That won't be necessary, ma'am. I'll call security right now. I'm sure we can clear this matter up immediately. <laughs>
all that you know shall be mine. I will my brain! Oh yes, oh yes, yes, yes! So my lovely, lovely, you intended to kill me so you could rule my kingdom by yourself? No, you need me to get out! Oh! Portal opens only on a full moon. And that's tonight. Bye-bye. Archon! Scum of the swamp made tarantulas grow in your mouth! Witch! Nobody's getting in during a red alert. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. Ah! Oh. Stop! 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 Uh, ah! Don't you know the Vulcan desperate for something a little less violent? What, you again? At your service. What do you wish me to do? Fly? Well, you are a witch, aren't you? Now get out! You need me to help you find him. I thought you were on Archon's side. Now I'm on my side, kid. In your world, I'd be an arbitrage. Archon is going to the portal. That alley that we came through. He is two hours after sundown to pass through, or it closes on him. Well, with the traffic, it'll take us at least that long to get there. You'd better be telling the truth, witch, or... Oh, oh, I know, I know, you'll cleave my black heart from my bosom. You know, for the life of me, I don't know why everyone wants to cleave my bosom. If you ask me, it cleaves just fine by itself.
name of our father, King Zed. Leave this weapon and return to our world with me. All this evil must cease. Oh, my dearest brother. Brother! The things I could have taught you. Things. Unfortunately, I don't have the time. I have to get back to our world with this device and without you. You must pass me first. Really? Well, that's nothing but a minor inconvenience, isn't it, little brother? Don't you just love this town? The music, the lights. He thinks I'm going back to the dusty old desert with him. He's brain dead. Gerardo, look, you gotta do me a favor, okay? You have to reach my father, Senator Trent. Who was Senator? Well, it's not a world ruler, but it's a start. I have to help Dar. Hey, you be careful. I would rather bend an only child. You guys, you, you, and you. Up the fire escape. Now, 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 go! Jackie Airlines. Who taught you to operate this thing? Me. They lost him. Oh. I want all available choppers to the north side. It's the code six. I repeat, code six. Bandowski, let's get out of here. Come on. Now, let us make haste. Arklon must not be allowed to escape. That's easier said than done.
traveling through a leafy green area. Brick buildings. Sounds like Griffith Park to me. We're on our way. been spying on me again, haven't you? You and I have a score to settle, little beast. Oh, yes. Look at these scars you gave me! Look! Followed me for too long, little brother. Now I think it's time we separate. He was my friend. for the dramatics. I like that. You realize this key still has enough power to ignite the weapon. Then we both die. Yes, how glorious. What a glorious death. Think of the multitudes of souls who we will take to hell with us. I'd feel better if you held on to that for a while. Now, shall we continue? Presenting the two great beasts of the jungle, the noble lion 
and the Tasmanian Hedgehog. More <laughs> enemies in the wild, but here at Adventure Island, living in complete harmony. It's the most exciting live animal act west of the Serengeti. Our trainers have worked long and hard to overcome their natural animosity. See how they express their love and affection. One of us must die. It is such a pity it must be you. We're of the same blood. My little brother. Oh, aren't they just the door Watch them frolic together in the center ring. Adventure Island's most engaging couple. Let's see if we can get them to kiss. I cannot believe we come from the same blood! The Hedgehog hasn't had his dinner yet. I was separated from Zed at birth. You were kidnapped by the terrible Chuns! I am a Chun. I have no brother, only enemies! All my enemies have perished! Dark! Now you join them. <laughs> Look down and cast your eyes upon death itself. For the father of death opens his arms and beckons for you. The beauty! What poetry? Perhaps you'd like to recite it again? A little higher this time? Make peace. Peace is for the weak. <laughs> Fall back with your beast into the depths of hell. Not yet, Airplane. The world is mine. <laughs> Asshole. Those animals, Vandowski. Watch where you step. I remember. 
<laughs> he remembers. I think. Thanks. Thanks, he remembers. It's, uh... Go back to your world. This is a great responsibility. It's time someone used it for the benefit of my people. Thank you. For being my friend. More than that. I almost forgot to give you your little thieves. Oh. <laughs> no. I want them to stay with you. Somebody to keep you out of trouble. Oh, come on. Me get into trouble? <laughs> well, I guess they don't look much like rats after oh. all. <laughs> and you. You're just a big pussycat, aren't you? Bye. Bye, Shadok. You... <laughs> Will you... You know, I mean, after you straighten things out in your world, I think you might come back sometime? I would like that very much. And... I have the key. down in the record book. Sword fight to the death. Thermonuclear destruction. Time travel to a land that doesn't have gas stations. I mean, how much fun can a girl take? I know. I'm gonna miss him, too. He was really something special. Good 
Good day, brother. It seems you've traveled a long distance. You'll never know. What brings you to this forsaken desert? My brothers and I are on a pilgrimage. We've come to worship the sacred object left by the gods. No one knows what it is or how it works. But everyone wants to possess it. Thank you. 